All right. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick a character at random, I think. General completion mass. Oh, thank fuck. Jesus Christ. I thought for a second I was about to land on him. We're okay. Uh, hush. Alternate path. All right. I know how to do this now. I guess I'll let the item decide it. It's If I feel like I'm doing really well, I'll go alternate path. If it's going bad, I'll just stick to the regular path and try to get there in 30 minutes. Oh, come on. Hot water with leaves, lovely. I mean, when you boil down things to their basic elements, it sounds stupid, but... I mean, you can boil down pizza to like, mm, 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 flour with water, salt. A little bit of tomato paste on it. And then processed lactose. I hope I'm doing good. I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Just enjoying the weekend. I was supposed to go, uh, hang out with my brothers tomorrow, but that's not gonna happen because, uh, one of them has COVID, so postponing it. So, yeah, my evening's kind of opened up. I don't have to do anything tomorrow either. been a pretty lazy one today, to be honest. Because my plans are all for tomorrow, so. But, now I can be lazy tomorrow as well. I was watching a bit more of uh, Better Call Saul, so I'm like nearly at the uh, end of the first season. I started watching it because since that's, it's over now, I can watch the whole thing more or less. There's a crackling noise, really? Is it the capture card? It might be the capture card. Hold up. No, no, I 100% believe you. Like, the capture card does that. Yeah, fucking Elgato, dude. Like, I don't know. Word to the wise, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna stream ever, and you're gonna purchase a capture card, don't purchase Elgato. It's one of those things where it's like... Okay, I had no choice because they don't sell any other ones, and to import any of the other brands, it's, it's more expensive. Way more expensive, so I kinda, you know... I didn't want to spend more than I needed to. But... If the option is there, don't, don't get one. It's just, you could, you could be, uh... 
You could be perfectly fine getting one and not ever experience any issues, or you could be like one of the many, many people that have random issues with it. My, mine is not that severe, in the sense that I can deal with it just by, at the start of the stream, resetting it a couple times and then the audio is okay. But there's some streamers I watch who, like, they have a chronic, uh, like, what you, what you just heard there, imagine that happening randomly throughout the stream and there's, like, nothing you can do about it. Or, like, the video lags for half a second, maybe once an hour. I mean, the whole thing is, they're conveniently sized, they have a good form factor, and when they work, they work, but when you have issues, yeah. I've heard things about a Ava Media, but uh, they don't sell them in Australia anywhere. I have to import it to get one. And there's another brand that people have been swearing by lately, I forget the name of it. Um... I think if I do upgrade... Because, I mean, the next logical upgrade is like, hey, it, it captures 4K, right? Um, I will definitely go to the effort of, of importing one. EVGA, yes, that's, that's the brand, yeah. I've heard quite a few streamers saying it's, it's pretty decent. Oh, that's interesting. It generates a different pill. It doesn't duplicate it. When it comes to anything about the stream, like people saying they have an issue or of viewing, I think audio is the only one that I take more or less seriously. Because the others tend to be, oh, most likely it's it's an error on their end. It is very rare for it to be like, oh, the stream is lagging or losing frames or like being low resolution. It is extremely rare for that to happen. But audio, yeah, I believe it. Like right away. If I'm playing anything on the PS5, 100% believe it right away. Without question. <sighs> Guppy, but there's only one piece. Thought I would try for it? Nah. I generally only do it if I, I've already found a piece. If I haven't found the piece, there's, there's not a whole lot of point to it. Um, this isn't an, an average start, so I'm just gonna go for Hush. No, it was the second one. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I fucking hate these things with a passion. Easily the most annoying enemy they've added. The world. But yeah, like if Anytime I hear anyone wanting advice on gear for streaming, two pieces of advice I have. One, get get a USB interface. 
with an XLR mic, do not get a USB mic, unless budget is a thing. Definitely don't spend huge amounts of money on a USB mic, like a, like a Yeti. You can get way better audio quality from an XLR mic through a mixer. I had way too many issues with the Yeti. And the other one is avoid Elgato, if possible. Just bad personal experiences. I know that there are some people out there that would have good personal experiences with it. And, you know, great. Happy that it went well. But, uh, yeah, have a look at the amount of people that don't have good uh, experiences with those products. And the issues are, are pretty common. Wait, what? Alright, whatever. I'll do it from the other side. Well, I guess the main thing is as long as you have, like, a mixer. The, the thing with USB mics is the convenience, right? You don't have to have a separate unit to hook it up to your computer. And that's why they're good in that sense. But when you're going towards the high end, it's kind of like... A percentage of the cost is obviously going towards the onboard DAC. Versus just getting, like, a mic that's purely XLR, and then hooking that into a mixer, it's better. I have had to do basically zero fucking around with this mic to get a decent audio quality out of it. Versus the Yeti, which it was like, every, every other week I would have to adjust it for some weird reason. It was just this endless, like, boxing around the limitations and trying to make sure that no noise came through or like sometimes there'd be weird audio crackles when it worked it worked well but when it didn't it was just a, it was a headache and a half which i guess is, is kind of like elgato too <laughs> gaming stuff when it works it works well when it doesn't it's a fucking headache that's the summary gaming branded stuff Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not really gonna win me anything, is it? Eh. Eh. I'll pick it up just so I have it. Oh, shit. That would have been good, but unfortunately it exploded. Alright, so yeah, this is looking pretty mediocre.
Odds are tonight, like, since I don't have to do anything tomorrow, I'll probably just end up either watching more Breaking... Not Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, or watching more Nathan for you. Because we watched a bunch of that yesterday. I kind of regret not watching it back in the day. <laughs> Oh, dude, Nathan Fielder is just so good at, uh, dry humor. And showing zero, absolutely zero expression in anything he says. Which I don't know if he's like that naturally in life, or if he's just really good at it. He just knows how to be awkward. My bad. It kind of blended in a bit. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't work the same way as it used to. It used to duplicate the item perfectly. So, like, if it was a red chest, it would give you a second red chest. If it was a gold chest, it would give you a second gold chest. And if there was an item in it, it would give you an item in it. Which I guess this is another one of these nerfs to this item. It's like, nah nah nah. Now you're not necessarily going to get the same item. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, this run, not feeling it. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna duplicate that. Oh, or, or it's just gonna give me a normal heart. Like, watch, that's gonna be... See what happens. Okay, at least this still works. Yeah. Okay, at least there's that. Might be able to turn this around. It's already almost 20 minutes in and we're only here. This is not looking good in terms of what I want to do.
a frozen So it draws a different one. Interesting. So wait, I ooh, I just thought of I just thought of a way I can do this. Okay. I have a use for this thing, a more regular use. Yeah, fuck, that's annoying. I don't like that nerf. Was it really that necessary? Oh, because this item can be used to break the game, therefore we must nerf it. That's pretty much the rationale. Heaven forbid the player break the game, no. Okay, I have a alternate use for this. That will take advantage of that. Stop picking it up. Oh, it's the fucking boomerang thing. It keeps getting it. This is what I was saying. Not well. I guess you can get a new trinket out of it as well now that I look at it, but what I was gonna do was re-roll the uh the card. That's not a bad idea either. I could unlock the lost. Okay, so do this again. Yeah, so... I mean, it has its use. A more common use. Does this reach? 
It doesn't reach that. No, it does. It's just a little finicky. Yeah, I think I'm just better off doing this. I'm just every now and then going up there and trying to bomb. I mean, I should probably check it, to be honest. I don't know what this is. Alright, since this is a kind of mediocre run, I'm gonna find out what this is. May rage bring... what? Haste. Okay. If nothing else, I'll find out what this item is. Oh, second hit gives you haste. That's it. Okay. Eh. Oh, wait, but it gives you attack speed as well. That's not half bad. Okay, that's it. Unlocking the loss. That's that's it. We're done. Run over. Uh. And we have the mantle. So now this is a lost run. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, it does seem decent, but now, unfortunately, given what I am now, it, it does nothing. So, I guess the question about this item is, does it go past the... I guess it does look like it does. The attack speed cap. I mean, look, the run is still mediocre, right? But I achieved something from it, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Fuck's sake, again. I shouldn't be afraid to use bombs. Not since I have a way to generate them. Yeah, I mean, this is nice. Okay, well... The streak of uh, mediocre items continues. 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I have base damage at this point. It's, it's unlikely I'm going to do anything. Oh shit, I- damn it, I got sniped. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think we're good. Um, negative. We need damage, so. Plus, I need to do the mark anyway, so. Oh, duplicated it this time. Okay. Problematic reroll stuff on the ground. Fuck. Yeah, that thing had to go first. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. Anyway, that's the loss unlocked. Happy with that. Wait, is that for real? Or is that. No. It's not. It's just. I hate how it does that. Oh, well, okay. Guess devil deal is the way to go this time. There we go. That'll do it. Golden poop. Might be able to get something out of this even.
Oh damn, this is this is a start. Okay. Multiple free items. That's a little annoying, but whatever. It's okay. Where are you going? It's found something again. Get baited! Very convenient. Less convenient. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can maybe get this. We'll see. Right, I need a key. Ugh. I need multiple keys. Okay. I mean, I gotta go for this one first. Again. Oh, fuck. Okay, good, 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 Less good, but okay. those cunt bombs. Uh. 
Oh, well. I was too desperate to get a key. I thought I heard something drop, but then it was just the bomb. I really wanted it to be something. I guess. Debating whether or not. Yeah, I'm just gonna use. I don't know. I could get something else out of it. Oh well. I think I just reset the fight for no good reason. And it didn't help, ultimately. <laughs> Alright. Targeted tears did not work.
Ha. <laughs> okay. Okay, this could lead somewhere. Cheese victory potential. I just need to get something that does damage. Anything. Anything that does damage on its own. Let's try. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, okay, I'm hanging on to this because it could always turn it into a good pill eventually. It looked, every single pill was bad. Interest.
Hopefully whatever I get is able to attack on its own. Even if it's a use item, it's fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. Mm. This movement speed now fucked me. Wait, Dragon Ball hate all since when? It's like one of those shows I grew up with. Unless it's just a reference to that shit being in Fortnite now, which of course it is. You are making me enforce the Dragon Ball excite enjoyment by putting me on the spot. I mean, I liked it because I was a kid. So there's nostalgia, but I think if that show were to air, like, if, let's say it was to start now, and I would start watching it now as an adult, I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much. If at all. Especially if we're talking about the original run, which was a bit long-winded and fillery. That's why Kai exists. Yeah, I mean, even Kai can be long. At times. It definitely cuts it down, but it's still... I appreciate it for what it was. And what it did for my childhood, but... I think as an adult, I probably... It probably wouldn't be in my top. need something that can attack autonomously and then I'll be a happy camper. Shit, I might just have gotten my I, I may just have gotten my wish. The Book of Revelations means I get meat. Well, it just gave me a Book of Revelations through the Dead Sea Scrolls, so if it counts like the real book Re of Revelations, that's it. I got a fight where I'm gonna get a cube of meat. But that's not really autonomous, it's still good. I mean, something that can just run around and attack whilst I stand still. Meat relies on them colliding with you, which not every enemy does, like, some will actively avoid you. I mean, other than that, I don't really have anything special going on here. I'm definitely taking this and this. Give me, give me a loan.
Okay. That's good. Still hang on to this, because if I do opt for the devil deal, I'll have a way to, uh, to get my health back. That's annoying. Yeah, I don't know. My, my complaint about this the latest DLC is just the number of changes which have been in the name of uh, making sure the player can't break the game too easily, which, I don't know. It goes counter to why this game became popular in the first place, so I have mixed feelings about it. In some cases, I'm like, yeah, that item probably needed a nerf. But then in the others, it's just like, you're doing this just for the sake of making the game harder, which, whatever. Oh my god. I'm not- I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm getting this. There we go. You're playing God of War on PC and those 30s long elevators to ensure PS4 loads part of the map are atrocious. I don't remember. Thirty second long elevators. I don't know. I mean, aren't the characters usually talking? Can't say I noticed it, to be honest. I mean, it, wa it was over a year since I played it, so I I memory's probably not as best with uh, recalling these things. But, I mean, even if that were the case, I'm pretty sure that the characters are constantly talking to kind of pad that out. They'll either tell, like, some story about Mythos, or they'll have some banter between the two. I guess it might, my experience might be different because I was streaming it, and so... I would have filled that dead air with me talking. Interesting. But I guess, yeah, why is that a bad- what is that a bad thing? Hmm. 
Uh, I'm not that interested in money here. Oh yeah, I can just do this now. But see, the issue is some... E so I need something that's semi-autonomous, because some enemies will not run up to me. That might be the other- that might be the other thing as well, is like, you're talking from it from a... You're trying to get everything 100%. Or at least close to 100%, which might explain why there is downtime between content. Or as in my experience was, I just played the main game and did the Valkyries and left it at that, so... I probably wouldn't have noticed that stuff as much. And yeah, my experience streaming it is different. I would have been talking. Slash making jokes. Yeah, I can carry two, right. I mean, I guess. That's cool. There we go, we got damage and the other stuff. I don't need Book of Shadow because it'll just stand still. I mean, with those games, eventually they're gonna run out of dialogue. That's just the inevitability, right? Like, they, they will run out of stuff to say, or things that you've already heard will just become more and more frequent. The one game that I'm still amazed at, like, just... The sheer amount of unique dialogue is, is Hades. Like, that game. Ridiculous amount. You can make a board, a game where people don't get bored while trying to 100% it. I don't know, dude. That's like... Putting a... It's hard, because it's like, it's different things. Like, on the one hand, 100%ing isn't really a narrative. You're talking about 100%ing in a game that's narrative-driven, so it's like, I kind of disagree with that sentiment. The reason it's boring is because you're in a narrative-driven game, and there's no narrative to kind of support the content. And that's why it appears boring. But, like, having a narrative driving someone being a completionist? I don't know, dude. Father! Father! We must go to the mountains and kill a hundred wolves. So we can get an achievement, Father. So you can finally be proud of me, Father. Shut up, boy. A true warrior shuts the fuck up the moment he finishes the base game.
A <laughs> true warrior is a stoic beast. But father, shut the fuck up. It's been 40 straight hours. Take a nap or something. Jeez. I can't wait to flip that joke on, on its side. And I'm not sure I'm going to do it. It depends how Atreus behaves in the sequel. But I'm hoping he's just going to be an angsty teenage shit. So I'll flip the whole thing over. Shut up, Dad! Oh my god, Dad! I'll figure it out. It'll figure itself out. That's not happening. Okay, I mean, I'm definitely worried, because it's like... I was thinking of doing the beast path, but I only have two health. Which is just... it's two hits. This is not exactly a great run. The only thing that's sort of keeping hope is the fact that I can just stand still. Isaac is less tedious and I'm doing the same thing over and over again with 20 different characters. Yeah, but I'm not expecting a narrative, I guess. The difference is Isaac isn't a heavy narrative game, so what drives entertainment is the random nature of it. It's not the same comparison. I don't know, I just find getting annoyed at a story-driven game that runs out of content when you're trying to 100% it, that's... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Free Book of Bilal. Like, God of War was meant to tell a story. It told its story. And, you know, that was it. And there's content in there for people that want to 100% it. Is it going to be perfect? No. Because the primary purpose of that game is to tell a story. Not to have something with infinite replay value. Or keeping the player entertained whilst they do things that, like, less than 1% of the player base is going to bother with. Playing it on very hard makes it not look like a story-driven game, but most people aren't going to start with that. That's not the default difficulty. Very hard, again, is for those people that want to have replay value or push themselves. It's, it doesn't represent the 90% of players. Just because the content exists doesn't mean that's the primary way that they thought it was going to get consumed and designed around it.
It's funny how the elevators are more tedious. Yeah, but you pointed out yourself that the reason they're there is right. Probably as a constraint. You gotta look at the context of where the game was originally released. released. It, this wasn't a PC game to begin with. This was a PS4 game that had to think of the base PS4 hardware at the time. I'm just gonna sit still. There we go. This should still work, I think. There we go. Yeah, I had problems. I have my doubts as to whether or not this is going to go anywhere. What is this? Is this one or two? It's one. Okay. Noted. Really? Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't know where I am now. This is annoying. Everything about this is <laughs> the only saving grace is that I can sit still. I have base damage, base stats, it's just ugh. Okay, there we go. That's that's auton that that counts as autonomous. So that thing does seek out enemies on its own. So all I have to do is take one hit and then I have something that attacks enemies. So that's good. Hold up, I'm just checking my messages. <laughs> oh my god. My brother's hanging out with uh, a couple of my younger cousins. They're, they're young, very young, right? And he was saying that they were watching Roblox on Twitch. And they were stream sniping, I'm like, oh my god. Fucking kids these days, complaining and... Because they got busted. And they got told off and they started complaining about it. Ugh. <laughs> I'll have to watch this later, he has like a video of it. Oh, just got ya. Did I? Oh yeah, I did get the treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, I, this is why I hate this curse, is it's hard to tell what you've done, sometimes. Okay, so let's try and get the beast path. I'll do my best. I just need a teleport card or something.
Well, this is all that, in theory, this is all the health I should need. Maybe one more. We'll see. I shouldn't stand still here. There's a guaranteed Joker card. I thought it was a guaranteed full card. But I mean, a Joker card would be good too. Is that not the same card? Joker takes you to the angel slash devil room. Full takes you back to the start. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a horrible room. But guaranteed it could be under a rock. That's the problem. Right? Oh no, but it doesn't matter because I have this. Okay, I have a way to hunt it down. That's cool. I'm gonna stand. No, that's cool. It's under a skull. Oh, really? Okay, well, either way, I'm covered. It's under a skull with a cross in it. Oh. Noted. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye on it. There's a dice room as well. Aside from this potential, like, it, it's been a horrible run. Empress, okay. It's been pretty bad. I still should do this because I want- I should try and get some more health. Fuck yes, okay. See, I wouldn't have picked that up. Oh yeah, there it is, I see it. It's got an X on it. That's cool. Oh, oh right, I have immunity. <laughs> I was worried for no reason. But this fly is straight up gonna carry. It'll be, it'll be my path to victory, hopefully. Stand still. Got it. <laughs> we get dragged along for the ride. Okay. Let's just do this for a quick clear of this room. 
Oh, it didn't really help. Okay, yeah, that's good. Good in the sense of more padding. Meh. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. You've wanted a plush of the mulligans, don't know if they've ever been sold. You could probably get someone to make one. Alright, cool. I'm, I'll be back, I'm getting a drink out of the fridge. I can't believe that this could potentially be the way that I finish this. Such bad stats and items. Didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Okay, one sec. I'm taking the chariot card because that's like another form of invin invincibility. It doesn't really matter, does it? Some people would say that I'm cheating myself out of the experience of fighting the boss properly. I mean, I guess the item... Oh, me picking up the negative. I thought you were referring to, like, me having very mediocre items and yet still winning, ultimately. Does this floor have a treasure room? I can't remember. The great thing about this area is like everything does sort of go super aggressive on you. Okay. Careful. I think it does. Yeah, I think it counts as a normal block. Can't remember. There we go. I was gonna say, are they ever gonna get that close to me? There we go. Move. Yeah. Ooh. Scary. Yeah, I wouldn't say that this is a guaranteed win by any means. Like, there's still potential for things to go wrong. Yeah, I don't like the- I- okay. 
any enemy in the alternate path is just either bullet hell or super aggressive get in your face type stuff. How convenient. My own personal brimstone. It's like I am attacking. Thank fuck I remembered that was the case. You watch the history of the Binding of Isaac. Did repentance really come out in 2021? Yeah. I mean, if you look at... If you go back to the origins of uh, the original Flash game, this game is really old. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I can still get him. I don't care that this is how this is I'm gonna pull this off. I mean, there's very few games that have had that kind of legacy. Active and constant development for over a decade, like... At least on the indie side. Terraria is another one that's kind of... Constant development. I mean, Stardew is getting up there in terms of age as well. This is another one of these rooms I could go horribly wrong if I move, so... We'll just... Take this! From a chill perspective, you know? Stardew put a niche genre on the map. It definitely made that genre more popular. I was always into Harvest Moon games, so... I know this must be boring to watch, but... <laughs> Completion marks, this is what I want. And it, you might see the final ending. I haven't seen it yet, so... Hasn't Harv I think Harvest Moon is, has continued under a new name. It's like Story of Seasons or something now. I, I do have a couple of the story of season game. Oh, okay, another autonomous friend. Nice. Oh, 
Autonomous friends are the best. I mean, the meat cube is great, but having a friend that just automatically shoots for me. Especially the spider one. The spider one is one of the better ones. It's, it shoots and it hunts actively. These things don't get near me, do they? It doesn't look like they're getting close. Okay. I might have to just wait for my window here. Let's go. mine if I can hang on to it. Oh, right, I do. Okay, here we go. That is useful. Because I can back out of something's bad. Or I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, that is extremely useful for what I'm doing right now. That's also a good way to reset the room if there's too many elites. You can just back in and out. Very good item. Like right now, if I do this. Oh, I think they've changed it. No, it, it still changed it. It's still different elite. Anyway. I think I'm in a good position. Sabardo. Oh, you take whole heart damage here? What? Okay, noted. Ugh. Nah. What am I doing? Back out, idiot. He's self-destructive and disturbed just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. If you're drunk again, you? Shut up, man. Shut up! Just keep pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Leave! We'll be fine without you. Abandon us like you abandoned yourself. So dark. What? Apologize for not saying bless you. <laughs> okay. Right, just sit still. He's not going to charge at me, is he? Okay, fucking dickhead. His AI is based on what I'm doing to him.
it's fine. It's just this thing. Let me see if I can get anything out of this. I could try and push my luck. But I feel like, nah. Not a good call. These enemies are waiting, like, waiting for the DVD logo. You know, on the topic of that, I've heard that they're gonna reboot The Office, potentially. But they've been teasing it quite a bit lately. Alright, I don't have to worry. If they don't have everyone, it won't be the same. Well, it depends on what a reboot is. And also, different region, that's an adaptation, not a reboot. But, yeah. Like, a reboot typically means, a, like, it's a starts from scratch thing with a different cast, right? I don't know. Maybe that's in movie terms. I mean, what are, what are people- look at it this way. Aside from Steve Carell, what are the rest of that cast doing right now? <laughs> Not to be mean. Oh, and Ed Helms as well, sorry. Steve Carell and Ed Helms are probably like the only two that have movie careers that are pretty that are more proficient than the others i'm sure the others have done stuff but yeah i'm sure the schedules are pretty clear Next time, I should leave a trinket in the boss room when I do this pass. Huh? Leave a trinket in the boss room? What do you mean? Okay, only because I don't think I've seen this enemy and I think I just want to fill in the bestiary. I mean, I, I think they'll probably be able to get everyone. Like, that 70s show is getting, uh... A new show called that 90s show, and pretty much the entire cast is gonna be there, with the exception of one. And it's only because that dude, uh, let's just say, has had some issues. To say the least. Just drop a trinket in the boss room before going in any of this path. But why, why wouldn't I just carry the trinket with me, I guess is what I'm saying, is like, if I have a good trinket, why wouldn't I drop, just leave it? Like, why would I leave it? Why wouldn't I just carry it? 
Like, I'm trying to understand the rationale of dropping a trinket in the first place. If it's good, why don't I hang on to it? Why wouldn't I? Maybe I have some spare- but the- but then, it's like, if I'm already carrying a good one... Alright, whatever. I've already been up this path once, just for the record. Multiple times, in fact. I just have never had success with it, because the boss is, is pretty hard. And the times that I have attempted it, it's kind of been just, I want to learn the patterns. It's not that I was convinced I was going to win. Don't have to worry here. Or so I thought. The fuck is that thing? Oh, that is disturbing. But, it's fine. Let him leap on me. Do, do your worst. Wow, it has a lot of health. The general strat of base runs to pass on the item rooms until I get a celestial room. Yeah. I kind of figured. Upon seeing it the first time, I'm like, alright, that gives more context to the uh, planetarium rooms. I need to get into a corner, I think. This is kind of annoying. I <laughs> have base damage. <laughs> it is it is pretty annoying to fight these things, just because my damage is so lackluster. Oh my god. No, you know what? Just do this. Jesus Christ. I still have options, thankfully. All the super enemies have a shit ton of HP. Just when you think there's an end to whatever Ed McMuffin's mind has to offer, he stitches two decapitated childrens together. Yeah, I mean, the dude's always had the twisted art style. I'm sure it's not the worst he's come up with. If I need to heal, I will use bombs, so we're okay. I might even do that before. Uh, I should probably fight this just to get the entry, right?
Because that is something that counts toward completion, is seeing every enemy the game has to off. That's another one, isn't it? But I think this one feels less threatening, question mark. These things are practically, like, as much health as an early game boss. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, right, you gotta heal anyway. It's cool. Jeez. <laughs> Who has a rug like that? Honestly. Not another key? Okay. Well. I'm guessing I need the red key thing to get another one, so that's fine. Okay, well. Wait, don't I have to damage the TV? Yeah, this is why you need something autonomous, basically. Okay, there we go. We good. Yeah, I have one tainted character, so we're okay. I've done it before. So pretty much you do need something autonomous, otherwise this does not work. Thankfully I got that fly. Crack key is enough, you don't need the red key. I don't think I've seen the crack key before. Okay, so, I mean, I haven't seen beyond this. Fucking hell. So, charges towards you, explosion. Dodge it, explosion. Dodge it, explosion. And so, pretty much, it's dodge, stand still. What's this? Okay, this is... That looks straightforward. Ooh. So you have to dodge it and then stand still by the looks of it, or come back to where you were. Dodge and then move back to where you were. Dodge, move back to where you were. Okay. The audio that's going in the background is so eerie. I mean, this is something that's that's like a culture shock. Because in Australia, we have none of this kind of stuff on TV or anywhere, right? Like, this level of... Hold up. Oh. What the fuck?
Wait. What? Wait a minute. What? Did we just get a genre swap? <laughs> this is a shmup now? Okay, um... I'm not sure standing here is, is a viable strat, but we'll see. And that still works, it still works. I think in the interest of time, I might have to take a hit. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here, is because I have the Nord Leaf. An item that if you stand still, you don't take damage. And as long as you have an either a Meat Cube or something that is an ally and attacks on its own, you can finish runs. But my stats were absolutely horrendous here. I had base attack and like two health for the longest amount of time. Weird. What do you mean weird? The item's been in the game for ages. Okay, I'm gonna do this. No, no! Oh, okay. Teleport did nothing. So these are super versions of the horsemen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay, I have the chariot card, so I can break out of this at any point. Let's just let let this play out for just like another minute. Fine, I'll take the hit. The fly is attacking now, right? It is. It doesn't matter as long as the fly is attacking. Oh shit, you know what? I think I might be attacking the flies. I'm hearing stuff dying, but I think the flies are attacking the flies. Alright, let's just leave it. He's taking damage? Okay. It's just that I'm hearing stuff dying. Okay, I'll trust. I suppose the fly does very little damage, so...
take a moment to appreciate the boss theme. Oh, it's good. This is cool. You need a fuck ton of damage to be able to do this properly. Oh my god, it still has more. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh thank god, good, it's gone. No, no, no. Start filling the dead air with Australian memes. There hasn't b really been any new ones as of late, aside from the fact that kangaroo attacks have started going up in the north. You want to know what's going on? You're in a TV, you got smacked by a set across, and now I'm in hell. Well, I mean, I, this side is supposed to tell the story of uh, his parents' divorce, more or less. Like, on the way up, you, you start hearing... Instead of going further down, you come back up and you go back to his house, and on the way up, you hear his parents arguing and ultimately splitting. And then you... You know, you have that fight with the TV, which is, uh, just evangelical nonsense on the TV. Which contributed to that split. And I guess this represents the apocalypse. So, I don't know. It's open to interpretation, but the gist of it is just the reason his family was torn apart, I guess. TV evangelism should be illegal. Well, I guess this is what I was saying is like... Outside of what I've heard happens in the US, it just- it's not a thing here. It's just not a thing here. It's just- it's such a culture shock to know that that... There's a th there's a country where this stuff is kind of uh... It can be prominent in some areas. This is cool, holy shit. Okay, I'm watching- I'm paying attention to this now, because I should probably see what each one does. So the bomb heat- it's thrown in your direction. I wonder if you'd be, have explosion immunity to this. You would think. Okay, then goes Super Saiyan and just hunts you down. Tries to grab you and then does an explosion thing. Okay. I might move on the next one. I also noted that this, uh, this charges your items as well, which is kind of nice between rounds. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is like the true spirit of a shmup. Oh, I was gonna say that was quick, but no. Oh, what? Oh, ooh. I thought it was over, but no.
But you think this fight shouldn't be allowed to happen with angel items because it defeats the moral point of the narrative? Uh, yeah, maybe. A little. Maybe a cool way to do it would be, like, you just turn into your basic character and you just have up to stats and... Okay, maybe the fight isn't as severe, but it's just, like, ditch all that shit to fight them. But then, you know, you'd lose all your tier effects and all that stuff, so I don't know. I'm not going to be critical of it. <laughs> I mean, the first time I'm completing this, it looks like it's just going to be something where... Did I use the Book of Bilal? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm moving. I got the spider on my side now, so there we go. Alright, spider is completely autonomous. Now what is this? Oh my god. Okay, cool. So pretty much like a, a shmup. Oh, no, good, good, yeah, yeah, suck me in, yes! Oh, yes! Consume that knife. That, yeah. Okay. Ugh, but... You would need s slow? I don't know. This is a tall fucking order in terms of a fight. There's no way to heal. I mean, uh, more than anything, I'm just watching. <laughs> Not that watching is going to help me learn how to fight this thing properly, but it, it is, it's a start. I won't be as surprised when things happen. Okay, so when it's in rage, this is pretty much just... It looks like keep doing it until it dies. I'm just looking at, you would, yeah, you need max movement speed for this. You can't do this with anything less. There's no way. Which, if you look at it, right, like... To do this, you have to be confident that the items you've gotten are, are like, GG items. You don't need max movement? I don't know. I don't... This is doable with basic movement speed. Right, but 
Kaizo Mario players will say, this is doable if you sink 40 minutes into this one stage. It's doable. It's like, yeah, I, I appreciate it. it. I know that it's not impossible. But, like, on average, real realistically doable, yeah. For me, I would want max movement speed. Or thereabouts. Yeah, it, it definitely has a lot of health, but the other thing is... Wait a minute, my fly's not attacking. What's attacking? My spider's attacking. Okay. Well then, we're reliant on the spider's attacks. Okay, so I got lucky that I got the spider, because my fly is not doing anything right now. Yeah, I mean, the stars align, and I got the ideal items to be able to do this. Even though the run was horrible and slow. The big bad is getting hurt. Yeah, because I have something... My spider. Which is, uh... It's my head, basically. That turns into a spider head that... Will seek out enemies and shoot. So, I got, I got the cube for enemies that move into me. And I have the fly, and then I have the spider. Everything else about the run was just bad. 400 bits to move? No. That's just gonna validate how little I value my time. Let's- let's just cut the middleman out and just say 400 bits to attach a car battery to my nipples and shock myself. Like, I may as well agree to that right now and just get it over with. A hundred. Here's a quarter of it. Oh, that's funny. I don't think there's such a thing as a quarter movement. You also do get point one speed entering the fight. I know, but like... For me to be comfortable in, in avoiding everything... Not just this, by the way. I'm not saying, like, this part you can't do in base movement speed, but the rest of it as well. Like, I would want max movement speed. You get chased by by one of them. Like put it all together. It's not like you start this fight from the begin from this point. You have to really like watch your shit. I mean, to be fair, this part, I think, once you get it down and you have good enough tier effects, this isn't... I think this this is kind of anticlimactic if this is really how it goes down. Right? Given everything else, you kind of had to dodge up until this point. I think someone with good enough movement speed and ability to dodge, it's not that bad compared to the other phases. But I say this as I'm just sitting still and kind of letting it play out. Local cheater cheats at games. Yeah, 
It's in the game, I didn't- it's not like I inserted this item myself and made it do what it does. Part of the game. That's like some younger sibling mentality. Oh my god, stop using Hadouken over and over again. I can't hit you. Stop cheating. Stop cheating. You're not allowed to use Hadouken over and over again. And a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping, and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night, and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights, and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry, pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then, he saw nothing. Are you sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here, how about we tell it a different way? Hmm. Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top. Interesting. All right, well, I guess that's the ending. <laughs> the music as well. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> eerie music aside. So what is this com- Oh, there you go, we got the house. Okay, so it's the note. So that's a unique completion mark I don't have with any of the other characters. I mean, that's fine, now I just gotta do Hush and the alternate path of Isaac, that's okay. Okay. That'll do it for Isaac, I think. I got the lost, so... To summarize, I got the lost and I did... Bait the beast. I bait the beast! But that's all the characters unlocked now, I believe, with the exception of, uh... These ones. Which ten character did I unlock? Uh, Judas, I believe. So... Yeah. Alright, so what I am going to do now, I'm going to take a small break, and we're going to come back and try and finish uh, Cult of the Lamb, which I'm down to like the last area. So, we'll do that for a bit. But yeah, I need to stretch my legs for like uh, a couple of minutes. I'll do uh, more of this tomorrow, probably, since I got nothing to do tomorrow. Alright, chat. Go get a snack or something. I'll be back shortly.